What is going on guys, it's Wafa here and welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off, we went around the floating city now that it's, you know, about three-fourths clean up, you know? Uh, it's actually rather clean right now, let's actually take a look at the map. Uh, oh, where did it go? Oh, here we go. Uh, I started cleaning up the back part of it now with the wand, and now it looks like just this tiny little corner over here needs to be cleaned. As well as, you know, random splotches like right there, there's a little bit of taint there, there, there. Mainly it just looks like around the, the wall itself. Yeah, there, right there as well. And I don't, oh, whoa, there's like a, huh. There's like a big splotch right there in the center. I wonder what that's from. Huh. Maybe there's like a cave under- Oh, yeah, there is an abandoned mine under the water. Remember whenever we fell into water? Huh. We might have to go detentify that entire mine underwater or something. Either way. Uh, last episode, we went around the floating city, found a shop. I don't even know if it was a shop, but it was like some guy's house that had a bunch of like decapitated heads. Like skulls, like like creeper skulls, skulls and skulls, and wither skulls and skulls, maybe like zombies. I don't know if he had zombie skulls or not, but he had a lot of like weird, creepy stuff. And we got two wither skeleton skulls from that. Now remember, we need three wither skeleton skulls to spawn in a wither, and we want to spawn in a wither so we can make the which wand focus was it? It was th this one, yeah. Wand focus of warding. I don't know if I really want that one or not. Uh, wait, was it the portable hole one? No, 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 that wasn't. I guess it was the warding one. I guess we'll just get the nether star just because. Maybe we're going to need it <laughs> for something else here later, but let's, let's, let's try and get the nether star, right? I got some comments saying, hey, you know, you can actually find, or uh, you can actually, like, craft wither skeleton skulls using Domcraft. So that's kind of interesting. I was, I was kind of wondering, like, how would we get that third skull? Because we can't go to the nether. I, I did a little bit of research for a like a spell where I could conjure fire on top of obsidian and netherrack but that doesn't like open up the nether portal so let's actually get our wand speaking of wand there you go actually I don't even think it's yeah it's not even fully eh, I'll take it anyways <laughs> but uh, let's look at a thalmanomicon and let's try and find the spell where we can I think we need scrapping tools so let's grab that as well see if we can find the spell I think it was like on this page or Alchemy, yeah, here it is, right here, Wither Infusion, Corrupting Uncorrupted Skulls. So let's get that one, go to the research table, and try and, ooh, we'll run out, oh, oh, there you go, there's the scrap tools. <laughs> Alright, let's try and connect up the little devil in furnace one to the, looks like some sort of eclipse or something, Darkness Tenebre, ooh. So what is, what is Darkness Tenebre and Infernus have in common? Looks like fire. Inferno uh, connects to fire, that connects to Lux, and thus, you know, Lux connect, connects to that as well. We can put another Lux there, and air. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm dumb. <laughs> Hold on, how are we going to do this? Oh wait, uh, we can put Lux there, and then fire there. There you go. So those are connected now. Let's see, Exanimus, so that's Modus. Hmm, Modus Vacuos. What is vacuos? Hmm, I think we might be able to connect these together. So there's that. We can get some Perdicio. Where's Perdicio at? There it is right there. And that connects to that, which is Modus, which is, I think, Ordo with Air. Yeah, Ordo with Air. So, hmm. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that. Let's get some Modus. There we go. Let's put some Modus down, like so. Get some Ordo, and let's get this one to connect Perdicio and Ordo together. There you go, perfect. See, I'm actually getting pretty, uh, not none too shabby at this, like, research table stuff. I remember at the very beginning of the series, I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to connect all these things together, but now we're actually getting the hang of it, and, you know, we can just basically do the same thing over here. Let's put a, uh, a Modus there, put an Ordo there. Uh, we're going to need to make more of that little circle one there. And Ordo, and another circle there. All right, now we have the Wither Infusion. Perfect. Uh, ooh, let's eat some of that beef jerky. scrum de -leum. Okay, that did like nothing to my hunger. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's learn to research in, or, uh, the research for a Wither Infusion. Now let's find out what we need to do. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, two blocks of coal, two things of obsidian, two nether bricks, and two stone sword blades with... 32 Exanimus, 64 Infernus, 48 Perdicio, and was that 34? I think that's 24. 
Tenebre. Ooh. The lack of nether strongholds would normally make summoning withers hard. That being said, the ambient magic of this planet might make it possible to wither a normal skeleton skull, bypassing the need for the nether altogether. Now all you need to do is find some normal skeletons. That might be a challenge, come to think of it. Actually, I don't think so. Uh, we just need one skull. Yep, we have four of them. Perfect. So there's that. We need two obsidian. And we have three left over from whenever we rebuilt the nether portal last episode. And we need two blocks of coal, which we should have enough coal, right? Yeah, we have enough. No problem. Let's just go craft two blocks real quick. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was making... Uh, that was a recipe for those little crystallizer things. Yeah, I forgot about that. Definitely don't need any more of those. Anyways, we need two blocks of coal. One, two. And what else did we need? We need, like, two stone sword things. Like, uh... Let's see. What was it again? Yeah, two stone sword blades, which shouldn't be hard to make. Let's just get the, uh... The blade thing. There it is right there. Stones or uh... Oh, wait, we might have stone blades, uh... No, I guess we don't have any stone blades. Okay. Let's get some cobblestone. And just kind of combine it over here in the part builder. And we'll be good to go. And we need two of those, remember? So one and two. Perfect. Alright, let's put the part builder thing up. Put the extra cobbledy cobble up. And now we have all the parts we need. Now we just need to get some, like, Exanimus and all that stuff. And Infernus and a bunch of other stuff. Let's actually check our hunger chest. What do we have inside of here? Uh, Sano, Perdicio, and Ignis. Huh, and Ordo. Hmm, that's not quite what we need. Do we have Infern- How do we get Infern? So let's actually check our Thaumonomicon. Uh, let's see where in the- Oh, the first one, basic information. Aspects of magic. Magic. <laughs> Examinus you get from zombie brains and skeleton skulls. Now we get four of them from a skeleton skull. Two of them from zombie brain. How many zombie brains do we have? Uh, brain. We have 16 of those, so we get 32 from that. How much do we need for the, uh, for the infusion of the Wither Skeleton? We need 32. How much do we have? We have perfect amount. <laughs> what do you know? Do we have any of that, uh, that, yeah, we have the Alimentium. I need to use this Alimentium stuff more often, because it's way better, more efficient than coal. So let's use that. Let's put that in the zombie brain thing. Let all that kind of crystallize over there. I'm glad I got those extra crystallizers, you know? It seems like we don't, like, wait a billion years for these things to finally crystallize, you know? Now that we have six of those things, look at this. We're, we're, we're getting six times the progress we got when we had just one. Anyways, what else did we need for the, uh, for the widow? Oh, yeah, we need Infernus. Bredicio, I think we have enough. Tenebre. So we need to look up Infernus and Tenebre. Where are we going to get those from? Infernus, I think, from, like, Netherrack or something, right? Uh, maybe. Let's go scan some netherrack. Netherrack. Scan some of that stuff. Yeah, it looks like we haven't scanned it yet, so let's get our backpack, get our thermometer, and let's just scan it. It's going to hopefully, yep, one in furnace. Okay, so we might have to go back to the volcano, get ourselves some more netherrack, because we get one nether, or, uh, we get one in furnace from each thing, and we only have... Is that really all we have? Oh, yeah, I guess that's all we really have, it's just... <laughs> 21 netherite, that's all we have. Anyways, let's go back to the volcano. Go underground, get ourselves about a stack. Because we do need a stack of netherrack, and we just put 21 up inside there. So if we can get about, uh, maybe a stack, three-fourths of a stack, something like that, we'll be good to go. Anyways, let's go back to the volcano. We haven't been here in a while. Whew, we're going to have quite the adventure. Let's get ourselves some, uh, the hammer as well. That way we can break things a billion times faster. And now the hard part. Where are we going to find this little cubby hole that we dug our first little netherrack little speed lunking adventure in? I don't know where it is. I know it's on the side of the mountain. But where in the side of the mountain was it? Is this? Oh, is this it? Uh, it wasn't. I guess it, maybe it was. Okay, well, let's just dig into it anyways. <laughs> let's just dig into it. Get all this taint out of here. There you go. If we dig far enough down, eventually I think we're going to find it, so... Hopefully we'll find some netherrack here in a bit. Do I have torches? I don't have... Yeah, cat, I don't have torches on me. Ah, I can't turn the brightness up. And there you go. Ah, <laughs> that barely did anything. Anyways, I guess I'll be digging down here until I find some netherrack. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, look at this. We found some netherrack. Perfect. Alright, so we found a really cool little deposit of netherrack. Now remember, we have a mission with whatever his name is. Uh, is it the geologist or someone? Someone wanted netherrack. So we could send in the netherrack, he can like, 
kind of extract the ores within the netherrack and he can give us some special ores so definitely need to keep that in mind if we have like a ton of leftover nether which i'm pretty sure we will because look at this this is a rather large netherrack vein over here let's get to our excavator out get rid of this disgusting gravel yeah this is a, yeah this is actually a pretty significant amount Huh. I remember when the first time we found the netherrack, I was like, I'm not finding any of these ores this guy's finding, or, uh, any, uh, any of the ores this guy wants. And then I realized, oh, we have to literally send it in so we can extract it from the netherrack himself. Anyways, I think this vein is, yeah, it's fine. It's definitely drying up. There you go. I don't think there's any more on this side, all right? Let's get rid of this gravel. It might be pitch black for you guys, but I can barely see. I'm probably going to brighten the video. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of netherrack right there. Any more? Oh! That's like another little vein right there. Don't mind if I do. More netherite, the better. Look at that. Huh. All right. Well, yeah, that 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 vein didn't really last very long, did it? Jeez. And it's gone. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's clean out our inventory with some of the gabarro and some of the gravel trash that we don't need. And grab all the netherrack. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's uh, make our way out of here. Let's get some of the gravel. And let's just staircase our way out. Now let's actually look it up real quick. I, I kind of want to see while we're here, just in case we might need to make another trip back. What do we need for the Tenebre stuff? Let's see. Tenebre looks like obsidian, mushroom... I don't know what that fourth or a fifth one is, but you can get it from Bedrock, too. I don't know how we're going to get Bedrock. Maybe we can conjure it in or something using using Thomcraft. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I love that gravel falls like that, so you can sort of just kind of build a little bridge just by placing it down and letting it fall down like that. Nice. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's skedilly don daddle. I don't think we're that far away from where we started out, right? So, got... Taint, got taints all over the place. <gasps> I mean, oh wait, yeah, my wand, my wand has purified. God, I am still, and it has blinked too. Man, it's like I completely forget about these things. There you go. Uh, there you go. Am I up to a teleporter yet? Nope, nope, I'm going up to a tree. There you go. Man, I keep on forgetting about these things, like the teleporting, the, the detaintifying. I need to, <laughs> I definitely need to use my wand way more often. Anyways, so I'll throw up some of the extra trash like that, that, that. And we're gonna need some more obsidian, so might need to go disassemble that uh, that nether that god. What am I talking about? Nether portal. God, <laughs> can't even think of what it was called there for a second. Let's grab our flux infused pickaxe because when this thing has, there we go. Whenever we turn it on, whenever we give it power, it can break two blocks at once. I don't know if we could do it to obsidian though, but let's actually check it out. Usually it breaks one block and then the block above it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that saves me a little bit of time and money on my car insurance. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess I'll just disassemble the, the nether rack, or uh, <laughs> disassemble the nether portal real quick, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Turns out it actually breaks one block above and one, one block below, so that's kind of interesting. Anyways, we might need to go through this pick inside the, uh, the energy infuser thing, you know, kind of charge it up. It's about halfway empty right now, so definitely need to give it a little bit more power. There you go. And it is almost charged to the brim. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's go throw some of the netherrack inside of the furnace over here. And we can just kind of, you know, give the rest of it to whatever his name is. Oh, it's still smelting. Okay. Let's throw that inside there. So it's a full stack. And let's throw one full stack inside of our M terminal just in case we need it. And let's give the rest of it to the geologist or whatever it's net yeah here we go extract or fragments from netherrack so we need 200 netherrack to get one uh nether ore bag which is kind of like a mystery grab bag where you don't know what's inside of it until you actually open it up so that's kind of interesting anyways i uh, need a little bit of food so i think we have everything right uh how much tenebre do you need for the uh for the infusion thing uh ooh, alchemical manufacturer more than one way to skin a cat ew Nasty. <laughs> so you need 24 Tenebrae. How much Tenebrae do you get from one Obsidian? Let's find out. Oh, I just passed it. Looks like it's just one from one Obsidian, so we need... It was 24, right? Uh, yeah. So we need 24 things of Obsidian. So I might need to go down to the cave. You know, throw some water down, get some more Obsidian. And I guess I'll have to pause the recording and do all that, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. But, uh, ooh, look at this. The furnace is still crystallizing over here. It's still crystallizing that zombie brain. But, oh, wait a second. 
Oh man, I am dumb. <laughs> I am dumb. I don't need to crystallize a zombie. Or, uh, I don't need to crystal. Yeah, I don't need to crystallize them. I just need to uh to put them in jars, man. <laughs> okay, well I guess I'll just throw some of the crystallized versions of all this stuff up inside of the the furnace again. Let's go over here. Let's go grab some of the jars. Grab some of the empty jars, more specifically. And there's one right there. And there is no more empty jars. Okay, well, let's grab some of the empty jars from over here that we're pretty much not using anymore. <laughs> and let's just go manually fill these up. So, how much, uh, where is it? Yeah, we need this one. We need that green skull with, like, little bones there. We need that. There's a lot of, like, cognito. Oh, there's, like, orum at the very top. Huh. I guess I'll fill up my orum jar wherever that is. Now, what, uh, what else do we need? Let's check it out. 32 examinists, so we need to make sure there's 32 of that. So we have 23 right now. Ooh. Okay, let's go grab all the examinists we might have. There we go. There's five. And there's one. Okay, so let's go throw those inside of the furnace. Let it. Oh my god, the whole thing is like backed up. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's, let's grab the cognito. Let's put it inside of the jars. And, you know, just so we don't, you know, make them go to complete and utter waste. So there we go. Grab the cognito. And I think I'm going to pause the recording real quick, get all this, you know, work done, just so it isn't too boring for you guys. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys, so we have all the jars that we need. We have the Perdicio. I think we have enough Perdicio. Let me check. Uh, yep, we have enough. We have the Perdicio, we have the Examinus, we have the Tenebre, and we have the... Where's the last bit at? Yeah, there it is right there. Infernus. There we go. 64 stack of Infernus. So let's see. We need the two blocks of coal, two things of obsidian. Ooh, we need the nether brick. We need to go make the nether brick. Do we already have any, uh, nether brick? Uh, I guess we don't. So we need two nether bricks. So that means we need to get four and four. Go smelt that real quick. And we'll be able to make two nether brick blocks. So let's go throw those inside the redstone furnace. Let those smelt. Actually, I wonder, what, is there anything inside? Huh, there's a little bit of cobblestone. <laughs> How long has that cobblestone been inside there, you know? Jeez. Ooh, there's gold nu- Ooh, I forgot we put gold nuggets in here last time. Or, uh, we put gold coins. Gold coins. We definitely need to put these gold coins back inside there whenever these are done. Uh, man, that is taking forever. And there we go. The final nether brick is done smelting. Let's throw the gold coins inside there. Let's make the two nether brick blocks that we need. There we go two of those and let's just go throw all these ingredients on top of our infusion altar and let's go make a wither skeleton skull the third one now this episode is getting pretty long so we're probably about to spawn in the wither next episode so definitely stay tuned for that feel free to click that little subscribe button that way you'll know whenever that episode finally goes up anyways two obsidian two nether brick a ruse two blocks of coal and of course the skeleton skull in the middle so there you go we learned a while ago that it doesn't really matter like the uh, like like the pattern <laughs> it doesn't really matter the pattern as long as all the items are there so there you go two blocks of coal two things of obsidian two nether bricks two stone sword blades and we have all these here instability is high so we definitely need to make sure that all the items are like they don't get knocked off their pedestal so let's keep it close oh my god one of them already got knocked off one of them's already oh wait where'd it go wait did it is it completely go Where is it? Did, it? did it get destroyed? I think it did. You kidding me? <laughs> man, that's not cool. Okay. Definitely need to make our altar. Oh, man. We probably should have went to the last millennium. Got that guy's altar and... Ooh, okay. Let's go get ourselves some more nether brick. Nether rack. Let's get half that. Let's smelt it. There we go. I don't care about the gold coins. There we go. Come on. Come on. I need more. Before it's done smelting all that. And there we go. There's the fourth one. Whew, let's go spawn in. Or uh, not spawn in. Let's craft the final. I guess we technically spawned it in because we crafted it, right? Let's go see. Is there anything that might have gotten knocked off? Doesn't look like it. Oh, man. Something just got tainted over here. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a block of coal got knocked off. Let's put it back on. Put it back on. It's still sucking up the infernus. So we still have a little bit of time. Man, it's sucking out a ton of that stuff. How much more is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's almost done. To, it's, 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 God, I can't speak the English language. <laughs> it's almost done. It needs to suck in the items now and combine it all. And, yeah, look at that. Suck it in that coal. Suck it in that coal. And suck it in the obsidian now. Come on. Suck it in the second obsidian. Hashtag second obsidian. Come on. Nether brick. 
Nether brick. And oh my god, I'm getting damaged. Whew. You need to get away from that. And so I get in the stone sword blade and the second stone sword blade and... Oh, look at that! It worked! We got ourselves the final, the third and final wither skeleton skull. Now let's actually make sure that we have, uh, what is it called? Soul sand. Uh, oh, whoa. There we go. Yep, we have enough. We just need four of that. And let's get the nether, or uh, what's it called? Wither. Wither skeleton skulls. There we go. All right, guys. So I don't know where we should, you know, summon this thing. Uh, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking, you know, somewhere where I wouldn't mind if it got destroyed, <laughs> you know? Hmm. Mushroom Island is kind of nice, I don't want to go there. I don't know. Leave some comments down below, where should we spawn in the wither to fight it, you know? Leave some comments down below, I'll definitely uh, check it out and see if there's any really good places that you guys suggest. Anyways, this episode's getting pretty long, so I'm going to have to end it right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Blightfall where we're going to be spawning in the Wither to get its Wither Star. So, or I guess another star. <laughs> oh, bye there. Oh, yeah.